Now, many of you already know that um, Leo Oro is one of the companies that in terms of sales recently, they've been seeing their sales uh, dropping, right? Which is something that is not good. I mean, Leo Oro has been one of those companies that have been doing so, so well. 2024, 2023, this company did so, so well in terms of deliveries. And even starting this year, they started very, very well. But right now, this company sales have dropped significantly. If my memory serves me well, this, uh, the, the deliveries that Leo Oro reported in October was a 16% decrease from the kind of deliveries they reported last year, which is something that is not good at all, at all. It shows you that there is a problem and there is something that needs to be done for them to catch up. But what, <laughs> and this, my dear friends, it has been because Leo Oro failed to do or has not really been doing what EV makers like Neo have been doing and that is innovate and that is uh, advanced technology in their cars and this has led them into seeing some major losses in terms of sales. In fact, the Leoro president came in and highlighted some of the things that have led into them not uh, getting that much sales and some of the things or the things that they plan to implement um, or pointers that they, uh, of the things that they plan to implement in t uh, what they are going to do in terms to ensure that they recover sales, ensure that they, they attract more buyers like they used to, which is uh, very, very interesting. But for our favorite EV stock like NEO, seeing that there are some EV makers that are really struggling, the companies that used to really do so well, like Leoro, but today they are not doing as they were doing last year around this time, it is something that must always remind even our very own Neo to say that look we must not we must not uh, take it easy we must not even relax but we must forever innovate advance the products of Neo because if we don't do that the market will end up uh, swallowing us whole right and we will Neo will end up going to bankruptcy I mean without wasting any more of your time. Listen to what the new Leoro CEO was saying. He said, look, uh, they are revamping their strategy after reviewing issues such as declining sales and R&D challenges. Key, ch key changes include accelerating global expansion, increasing AI investment. One of Leoro's key strategic adjustments is to accelerate its product refresh cycle, shortening major platform updates from once every four years to once every two years future models will have will feature more distinctive designed moving away from uniform and family styling acknowledging that it started global expansion too late the company is accelerating overseas plan leoro currently spends 100 million rnb on computing power and developing its own automotive chip now this I think summarizes the issues that caused Leoro not to sell that much, which some of them, or the most important one that me, I highlighted is the last point, right? Not being able to, saying that they are spending now 100 million RMB or yen on computing power chips, right? Autonomous driving chips. You know our very own Neo. <laughs> the first video that I did today, we're talking about the computing power of Neo chip the Shenji autonomous driving chip that it's being now leased to another automotive chip supplier in China who they will be paying you millions and millions of dollars. Neo, you will know that on their models that you see, the latest main brand models, that is your ET9, that is your ET5 Touring, ET5 Mid-Sedan, ES6, EC6, and the all new Neo ES8. Neo is using their own autonomous driving chip, Shinji NX9031 chip two for autonomous driving they are mess producing this chip my dear friends and neo has been or was the first automaker in china or first uh, or first new energy vehicle car maker in china to successfully tap out mass produce and deploy uh, uh, an autonomous driving chip and install it successfully in the car which is something that is just so great 
knowing that Leo Road right now is spending 100 million yen a, a month on computing power chip. It tells you how serious this project is. Xpeng has also has got a touring chip that its computing power is around what 700, but Neo's computing power chip, you know, Shinji NX 9031, it's 1000 or it's over 1000, which shows you the kind of power that that chip has. Which is why even the other guys or the other chip makers in the industry want to. <laughs> are looking for this chip or want to utilize NEO's uh, computing power chip, which is something that is just so great, something that is exciting, and it makes me to look forward to what is coming. So, my dear friends, me, honestly, in as much as it's said for, for Leo Oro, man, this, 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 I think, it's a wake-up call, not just only to Leo Oro, like I said, but also NEO. To say that we must not relax. Now that we've got this, uh, co uh, this autonomous driving chip, we must not relax. We must continue innovating. We must continue advancing in terms of technology. So that they, the, 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 the majority of the companies in China don't catch up to the kind of technology that NIO is, uh, is producing, NIO is developing and deploying, so that NIO can forever remain at the top which is something that is great, something that hopefully we get to see it being rolled off like that. So I'm saying that NEO should continue investing heavily onto R&Ds because without that, then we, we stand a risk, a risk of losing major, uh, of seeing major sales drop, like what we are seeing onto, onto Leo. It's not a good thing that we are seeing in this engine. And the competition in China it's very, very, it's so fierce in a way that, my dear friends, you, you sleep one day. Then. So, yeah, man, I am happy. I am excited. Blue sky is coming. Long term will win. And those that are persevering throughout the earnings of the share price will be rewarded with time. Look, man, it does take me some time to create content like this. And I will... Uh, I will really appreciate if you can just like this video, subscribe, hit or click that notification bell so that at least you can be notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. Share price wise, you might not be doing the most. It might be going down, but look, man, all this will change like this. The very same time that it took Neo from $3 to where it is right now, or from that $3 to $8, it is going to be the same way that we see Neo moving from these five dollars that it's it's in to probably ten dollars, twenty dollars. It's going to come like without you expecting, which is something that we look forward to. Anyways, let me end it here. I'll see you on the next one, my dear friends. That is all from me, and God bless you all.